Welcome back with Obermott Investing. It was a terrible week again last week for the stock markets. Everything fell and it actually questions if I should continue with my endeavor and invest more in the stock market. Actually, when we look back at the last six months while we've been building up our portfolio, it has already been a really terrible time. We see the stocks Europe 600 and you can see down here that the high was around 400 and today the euro stocks uh, 600 is trading below 350 that's more than 10 percent less actually it's more than 12 percent less it's a devastating um, result over the time we've invested we've lost 12 percent on these on these stocks now some people will say that's great and they say now that stocks are cheaper let's invest more and others will say this is really only the beginning of a downturn i googled that a little bit and what i found is the following i first googled good time to buy stocks and voila who says it's a good time to buy stocks warren buffett nobody else of course i think that's a very good sign we have here somebody i can really trust who says this is a good time to buy stock let's go on and buy stocks but i didn't do that i actually googled for something else i googled for market is going down in 2016 and i see the same company that published warren buffett is bullish on stock markets also published that this is just the beginning of a countdown for the next crisis and we have 900 million results for this search while when I go back to my good time to buy stocks query, it's only 193 million people who believe that and put something on their website. Well, again, different opinions. What we can know or what we already do know is that relationship 900 million against 193 million is already built into the stock prices because people buy based on what they believe and Google tells us what they believe in terms of search results. The stock market tells you what people believe in terms of prices for stocks. Now you probably want to know how well did our portfolio do and that's what I've done right here. Let's go back to the dashboard where I have the overview. And I can see here that the total portfolio is worth 94,000 francs. And you know, we paid in 100,000, so this is bad. We lost 6%. Now, the 6% is a lot less loss than the 12.5% or more than 12% of the stocks 600 index. And we could probably say, hey, we were really good investors. We managed to lose less money, but actually, this good result is only due to adhering to one key rule. And this key rule is slowly in, slowly out. That's what safe investing is all about. That's exactly what we've done. We've actually bought only stocks worth for 5,000 francs each week. And that actually puts our investment period over a six months period, you know. So we haven't bought everything at the beginning when the stock 600 was really at its peaks. We bought step by step and that made sure we didn't lose as much as the index. That's a good sign. Now, when I go into my portfolio, into my direct investments, I can see that the results of my, my stock performance have been quite mixed. You know, Atlas Copco that we just recently bought lost 15%. LVMH lost 20% and Sandwick that I bought at the beginning of our, of our uh, building up lost 35%. These are terrible numbers, but they also, but what they have in common, these are numbers from industrial conglomerates. They've all been hot, hot, hit hard. Even Schneider Electric and Siemens was hit hard. And, uh, this is a luxury company, and then Atlas Copco. So all my industrials have, have been hit hard, and that's actually to be expected. When the market goes down, the cyclical stocks, you know, these are the industrial stocks, the, the, the business to business stocks, they lose more than those stocks that rely on consumer products because consumer products are less cyclical. Now, does this mean that we have now to get rid of all the cyclical investments? It doesn't because we don't know what the future brings. 
if the future you know, recovers, if the prospects are looking suddenly much better a month from now, then these cyclical stocks will recover much faster than the others. Since we don't know what the future will bring, we, can, we cannot use past bad performance as an indicator to sell. It would be foolish. There's a much, much better way to decide if you should sell stocks or if you can buy more stocks. And that's the Obermott ranks. What you can do is you can go into your email, into your stock email from Obermott, and you can download the entire rank database as a CSV file. You download it here, I've already done it, uh, download it here, and then it's done on your computer. And what you then do, you go to Google and you import it. You open the file in Google, select the file from your computer, it's here, you can open it, it takes a long time, but then it's actually important in your computer as a Google spreadsheet, and what you will see is this here. These are all companies and all ranks from Obermott. You can see down here, it's almost 10,000, will probably go to 10,000 in a few weeks. What I've prepared for you is a template that allows you to enter your stock portfolio. Here, on the second page of that spreadsheet, are the ranks that we've imported. The ranks are here, all the ranks from Obermott that we downloaded. And for each, Obermott com for each company, you also get the Obermott ID. You get that Obermott ID, you put it into your first column, and it will give you, with lookup formulas, it will give you, here's a lookup formula, it will give you the name, the country, the industry group, the size group, and more important, all the ranks from Obermott. I've done that for my entire portfolio, which is here. I also entered the stock values here in whatever currency you have, so that it automatically calculates the weight. And it's all green here because if you have less than 10% exposure to a stock, it means you're diversified. If, you're, if you have less than 5%, which will happen soon when we invest more, then it's even dark green because then you're really diversified. Now, what do I see here? And I think this is really the important section, what you can see here. Um, it tells me that um, most of the ranks are still green or dark green. And this means I have a good portfolio. So if, if I invest now more, I will probably add more green stocks to my portfolio, but it doesn't mean I have to sell stocks. They're not all red and orange, which would indicate danger. Some of them have not so good growth ranks. Well, maybe they turn around soon. Others have not so good safety ranks. I know, I mean, I didn't buy this stock because of the rank. I bought it because I know the company. And here I feel pretty safe with a company like uh, BAE Systems, Spy Systems in German, well, uh, because they're probably not, a go not going daily up. Well, I have here a value rank that is not that good anymore, especially here, Jerome Mo Martins, also not such a high value rank. These are the retailers that have not gone down uh, recently, they actually have increased in value. This is a much better way to, you, to look at your portfolio because it gives you the information that you actually have a good portfolio and it doesn't really matter where it comes from. It matters what it does from now to the future. Thanks for this a little bit different uh, lesson on stock investing and how we do it at Europe. I wish you good luck with this year, 2016. Maybe it does go up as Warren Buffett thinks or maybe it does go down as 900 million other people believe. Goodbye and see you soon.